Welcome to Office 2013 video project number eight. Hey, in this video, we have an exciting topic. We're going to talk about the three levels of formatting in Word. Yes, not just formatting, but different types of formatting. We're going to talk about character or font level formatting. We're going to talk about paragraph level formatting and the really cool one, section level formatting. Now this is a handout with some notes and every one of the videos in this series has notes and you can download it if you click on the link below the video. Now I am going to close this. We're going to open up a blank Word document. I'm immediately going to hit the F12 key to save as. I'm going to dig down using the save as dialog box to find our business 216 class notes Word. I'm going to click on Word. The name of this file is going to be three levels of formatting and we will accept the save as type or extension dot DOCX. I'm going to click Save. All right. We have used this trick a few times before and we love it. When we want just some text to mess around with and learn some word tricks, I'm going to type equals ran, open parentheses, close parentheses, close parentheses, and enter. All right. So we've talked about this a few times before. Double click a word. We can use our mini toolbar. I can do a font color. I can do a bold. I could also do control B for that. Any of the things in this font group are character level formatting. And the concept is you got to highlight. Now I can double click, hold control, and double click. Notice I'm highlighting things not next to each other using the control key. Absolutely a great trick if I want to be efficient. All of those are getting read. I don't have to do each one individually. Control B. So character or font level formatting, you got to highlight all of the characters, right? And then do the formatting. Now, what if you were in algebra class and you needed to type x squared? I'm actually going to scroll up here. So capital X2, enter. Well, we could simply highlight the two, just the character we want to apply the format in. And up in the font group, no way, superscript. Similarly, I could type x sub 2, comma space, x sub 3, comma space, x sub 4, enter. Highlight each one of those numbers. I'm using my control trick. And there we have subscript just like that. Those are examples of character level formatting. Now there's a bunch of character level formatting here. However, sometimes the character level formatting you want is not up here. So we can use our dialog launcher. Boop. The keyboard, if you highlight, it's control D. So control D works. I tend to use control shift F because that will open up the font dialog box in Excel also. A couple other ones, strike through is up here on the uh, font group ribbon, but double strike through. Now you can get a preview here if you're watching, double strike through. People like to use strike through when they have a list and they're done, they strike it through. Small caps, you can see the preview here, all caps, and then hidden, hidden will hide the text. So if I apply this character level formatting to this text, it will not print out. It's only visible on the screen. Sometimes people use that when they have a test or a quiz. They have the quiz, and then the answer is hidden font formatting. All right, I'm going to uncheck that. Click OK. So font level formatting, highlight the characters, uh, apply it. Now paragraph level formatting. My cursor is in the paragraph. I can see the paragraph mark. Anything up in this group here is paragraph level formatting. So I do alignment. I'm going to Control Z. I can open up my dialog box using the dialog launcher. I do not know a good keyboard for this. So what I usually do is I go right click paragraph. Now paragraph level formatting, we'll do a lot of that next video when we're doing our research paper. But watch, I'm going to watch the preview and just try a few things. What does indentation do from the left? Notice, what is it doing? This is the margin. You set the margins in the page setup dialog box, which is a section level formatting. Indentation, that's just how far from the margins do you go in. 
All right, and then you could do spacing before and after and even line space, and I'm going to say double. Now, the most amazing thing, well, OK, so we did paragraph level formatting. Our cursor's there. What if you wanted to do multiple paragraphs? You've already typed out your paper. No problem. You just have to highlight all the paragraphs. Each one of those marks will get the formatting. Right click paragraph, and then I can do whatever I want. Now, the real, I'm going to click OK. The real power, I'm going to Control End, E N D, and then Control Enter. Control Enter adds a page break. We can see our non printing character there. The real power for paragraph level formatting is when you format the very first paragraph, and then as you type your paper, Enter, 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 this will carry forward. So let's try it. Right click, Paragraph. I'm going to set this special indentation. I love this first line indent. That means from now on, every time I hit Enter, the first line in the paragraph will be indented by 0.5. So no longer do you have to hit Tab for a research paper. I'm going to set this to 0. By the way, 8 points, line spacing 1.08. That's the new default in Word 2013. So we can change that to 1 or to 0 here. Or in this case, I'm going to change this to double. Click OK. Now, watch this. If I type, so I'm just typing here, right? So I'm done, and then I hit Enter. And sure enough, paragraph mark had the paragraph level formatting. But as I hit Enter and type more, it carries forward. So as I'm typing, it automatically carries for it. So paragraph level formatting. I'm going to hit Enter. Now, one other thing about the default. I'm going to click in this paragraph, right click, paragraph. Notice it has 8 points and 1.08. That is annoying for some people. No problem. I can come up and apply a style. Now, those default settings come from the normal style, but no way, no space. When I click that instantly, this paragraph, right click, paragraph, no more. Uh, it's single and zero. So a lot of times people don't like the normal settings. That's the default settings. So you can apply style. Now, Control End, E-N-D, to jump to the end. I'd like to talk about section level formatting. Control Enter to jump to the next page. Now, that's a page break, right? And then I'm going to remove some paragraph level formatting. Right click paragraph. Don't forget if you've been carrying stuff forward to get rid of it. So I'm going to do single and none. If now you don't want it anymore, you have to go and change it, right? Now let's just look. Page layout, page setup. Boop. Remember the keyboard for this is Alt PSP. So margins and orientation. Those are examples of section level formatting. If I want to change the margins, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, I'm hitting Tab each time. And I click OK. Guess what? Every single page is going to get this section level formatting. So what if I don't want that? I want to have different margins or orientations or columns or f headers and footers on different pages. Alt PSP, I'm going to go back one tab, one tab, one tab, one tab, enter. Now I'm back. The whole document, all three pages, has that one inch margins. All right, so you ready? I'm going to come up here. Now I'm going to delete this. The, how do I delete this? Notice it's to the right, so I use the delete key. Now I can insert a break, and what I want is a section break. Now Continuous would put the section break on this page. I'm going to say Next Page. Boop. Now let's go look at the non-printing character. That is a lot different than our page break. A section break is not the same as a page break. A section break means everything above this section break, or this page and above, so page Notice I'm on page 2 here. Page 2 and 1 are going to have this 1 inch margins. But now, I'm in a different section down here. Notice it says page 3 of 3. Alt PSP, 
instantly I can go 0 0.5, tab, 0 0.5, tab, 0 0.5, tab, 0 0.5, tab, 0 0.5, enter. And now there's a margin. That is a section level formatting, but back on this page, absolutely beautiful. Another example, occasionally you'll have a report and you have some sort of picture or chart and you want the page to be orientated horizontally or landscape. I'm going to control and roll, control and roll. I can clearly see one, two, three that are all portrait. Control and roll. Now I'm going to say equals R A N D, open parentheses, close parentheses, and enter. So I've written some text here. And that's fine. I have my margin set, section level formatting. I'm going to set another section break. Next page. And now this one, I want to change the orientation. So Alt P S P landscape and click OK. And instantly I can see I have the pages set up portrait, but this one is landscape. So I'm going to go to insert. I'm going to search for dog and cat. Dog and cat friends. So I'm doing some, so there you go. Now I'm going to come to the very end, and if I can't quite get to the end, I'm going to control end. I know it's hard to see there. There I have, and let me hit enter. Now it goes to the next page. I'm going to scoot this, pi this picture up a little bit. I have a hard return right there. Now I'm going to set a section break. Now let's come up to breaks, and I'm going to say next page. This is a section break. There's my non-printing character if I wanted to see it down below. By the way, sometimes the non-printing characters can get really squeezed to the edge, both a page break and a section break. So sometimes they can be hard to find. All right, ready? Alt PSP, and I'm going to go back to portrait. Another type of section level formatting is column. So I'm going to type equals rand, open parentheses, close parentheses, enter. Now check this out. I want I'm doing like a newsletter that I'm printing out and the top part has no columns, but now I need to have just a section that has three columns. So watch this. I'm going to set a section break continuous. That just puts the section break on this page. Enter enter and but now I'm going to set another section break. So section break continuous. And right here I'm going to type equals rand open parentheses, close parentheses, enter. So notice the text is between two section breaks. But now I could do something. I could change the margins here. I couldn't change the orientation just for this one paragraph. But I can change the margins or columns. Columns is another section level formatting. formatting. Watch this, three columns. And instantly, what a cool uh, newsletter I am creating. I can have text either one column or three columns all on the same page. Because I have a section break there and there, now I can do whatever I want down here again. The other uh, section level formatting is footers and headers. I'm not going to show you an example in our next um, research paper. I'll show you how to insert a header and footer, but if you want different headers and footers on different pages, then you have to set a section break. One other paragraph level formatting. Maybe I'll scroll back up here. After lucky, I'm just going to hit enter. And I want to remove the paragraph level formatting. So I, I want to remove just the uh, first line. I want none. I'll keep the double space. Home. If I were to apply a bullet or a number, I'm going to apply a number. Enter. Enter. So you get why it's a paragraph level formatting. These are paragraph level formats because the whole paragraph gets it. To get to the next bullet or the next number, you have to hit enter, which of course carries the paragraph level formatting for it. Now, luckily, in earlier versions, it was difficult. You keep hitting enter, 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 and then the numbers and bullets would keep coming up. But now if you hit enter twice, it's programmed to, to understand that, hey, I want to stop doing bulleting. 
All right, so in this video, we saw how to do character or font level formatting, control home, so character or font level formatting. We saw how to do paragraph level formatting. And we saw, I'm going to control and roll. Look at that. We saw how to do margins on different pages, uh, orientation, and even columns there. That's a section level formatting. Now, on a quiz or a test, if I ask you to give me some examples, right, you either have to list them out if it's a little quiz, or on a test, I might say, hey, show me some examples of these. All right. Next video, we'll have fun with a research paper. All right. See you next video.